Hey what's up you guys, it's Nicholas Lion Rider, and in today's video, I thought we would discuss a thing that has kind of been a hotly debated topic within the last few weeks about the upcoming, presumably, North America pack. We're assuming it's North America. Technically don't know until it's here. Um, and that is whether or not this next upcoming pack is going to be a prop pack, or a scenery pack, or a theme pack, whatever you want to call it, where it includes four animals, an exhibit animal, and some scenery. Or if it is going to be very similar to Southeast Asia, where it is going to include um, eight animals, one of which being an exhibit animal and no scenery. So I would like to just basically kind of temper expectations because I'm going to give some evidence on why I do believe it is actually a theme pack. So sit back, relax, and let's just jump into it. So the first thing, and probably the most notable of course, is the reason it is likely a theme pack is the leak say so. Well thank you for coming to my channel. No, but uh, in all seriousness, obviously the very credible leak, um, I don't want to say very credible. Technically none of it's proven, but everything does seem to uh, indicate that it is a credible leak. Uh, does say that the next pack is North America and it is going to have a theme set. So, now, obviously, I don't want this video to be just based solely about a leak that may or may not be true. Again, nothing has been proven yet. So, instead, what I wanted to look at are some of the other reasons that I think are actually a bit more, uh, like, damning in regards to it being a theme pack. So, the obvious thing, of course, is a lot of people would shout out, but North America, or, you know, has a lot of animals, and they wouldn't just throw out all those great animals. Uh, but what about Africa? Huh? What about Africa? We had plenty of African options, and ultimately, they decided to go with a theme for a pack that, as many people put it, had a huge theme as is. Which is totally true. Africa, you know, a lot of people were saying, oh, they could do kudu, and black rhino, and leopard, and baboon, which was all, like, very cool animals, but ultimately, they went with the, you know, kind of four that I, I think were all pretty well received, the meerkat, rhino, uh, fennec fox, and penguin, but ultimately, there was a lot of African animals that were on the cutting board, and the reason for this is because they went with a theme. Now, in my opinion, I think North America actually has a better shot at getting a theme due to the fact that the current North America theme as we know it is the New World theme, and it doesn't really represent anything. It's basically just the modern zoo aesthetic or whatever, and while there's some bison and bear props, it's not really anything that's notable. And so, I think it would actually be make more sense to have a North American theme um, in this pack, even if it is not like maybe like log cabins or Native Americans or something, but just represent something that is a bit more American with more props. Then our animal collection, because again, I think we all would want more animals from basically every region. I think Australia and aquatics and like South America all deserved more animals as well. But, obviously, you know, sometimes this just doesn't happen. So the other thing that I want to mention, of course, is animal packs are not the norm. So if anyone, like, you know, wants to cite, like, what are patterns within the um, pack, you know, d disciplines and stuff, animal packs are not the norm. They were an outlier. They were a one-and-done pack up until this point. Now, I do 100% think we are getting more animal packs just not right now. I think it's very safe to say that the bird pack is probably going to be an animal pack. And then going into the next year, I would assume that they are going to invest in more animal packs just once they run out of like prop themes and stuff to do. Um, obviously, North America will complete their cycle of continent packs, and then maybe we could see some other future themes, like, that are more general. Um, but obviously, like, you know, the game can always add more animals. So, I think animal packs are more of, like, a thing we will see endgame uh, for the game's development than something that, like, right now is going to happen. So, the other thing I want to mention, of course, is a quote before Shantae left revolving around Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia, for anyone who doesn't remember, had a lot of backlash. Even though, like, you know, I guess a lot of um, animal lovers and stuff, and I talked about this in my uh, animal pack, um, you know, video, a lot of people love the Southeast Asia pack who love animals. However, um, 
performance wise it was the worst selling pack and then that's just like a fact it was just the worst selling pack and then a lot of there was a lot of backlash because people were saying where are the themes and stuff and so i think it's safe to say that you know they and they actually made a pr statement back then about this exact issue they said no we are getting more theme packs in the future so i think that is safe to and we ultimately did we got africa but i also think that kind of extends maybe into north america as well i think animal pack with the animal pack with southeast asia was more of an experiment and not something that we, we should probably just assume is going to be in every pack from now on because basically any theme you can imagine in the future could hypothetically have an animal pack attached to it so i think the um most likely future animal packs would be if we went into something that is super super vague that was already clearly covered so something like a desert pack north africa i real obviously covered morocco and egypt i highly doubt that they would do a desert themed pack for something like that so if we were to get something like deserts with like dromedary camel or something that would probably be an animal pack just because there really isn't a good theme to go alongside it so the next thing that I want to discuss for, uh, you know, I guess people who want more objective facts is the thing that I found when working on developing the Safari pack. So between updates 1.5 and 1.6, so that's between the Southeast Asia update and Africa, there was um, a basically file change. So. For anyone who knows, you know, my development of the Safari Pack, I started development right before Africa Pack came out. And I, I was, at the time, calling my pack the Africa Pack. And so all of my files in my code names, I followed their naming convention of usually basically a two-letter acronym followed by an underscore uh, to represent the name of the pack. So, as an example, in the base game, the African theme is actually called the African Origins theme in the files. So you would think that their name convention would have been AF for Africa, but it actually was AO. So it was AO for African Origins. So jumping over to the Safari pack, I started developing it as the Africa pack with the AF underscore naming convention. However, this, when the North Africa theme came out, was changed to AF as well. So the official content also adopted the AF underscore naming convention, which kind of broke the Safari pack during 1.6. I had to change everything. Now it's AF zero. So I basically didn't really change much. I just added a zero instead of an underscore. But ultimately, this actually kind of indicates to me that we are getting North America. Now I'm going to explain why that kind of is. So as I mentioned before, Every theme in the game basically has a two-letter acronym that is going to basically uh, define what the packs are. So in the case of Africa, they went with AO for African Origins. But for the North Africa pack, you would assume that they would have gone with NA for North Africa. But instead, they just went with AF for Africa. Which is a little bit odd, because as we know from the files and stuff and the leaks prior to the game, the North Africa theme was not something that was like a new thing that they did last minute as a change or something. That was there from the beginning. So why would they name it a like AF instead of NA? Well, North America would work a lot better for NA, wouldn't you agree? So what I believe they were doing was just being like a bit precautious for the future DLC and intentionally decided to opt out of NA for North Africa and instead went with AF so that NA underscore could be used for the upcoming North America DLC. So I hope I explained that really, really well, but um, ultimately I think that is the kind of damning evidence, in my opinion, that would indicate that this is a theme pack. And like I said, just to kind of bring it around full circle, I don't want this video to go on too long. Ultimately, I think the reality is, again, theme packs are the norm. Animal packs are kind of an outlier. And I also think it can kind of temper some expectations. Because if people are expecting a lot of animals and then they ultimately choose to do a theme pack, 
I really don't want to see another backlash like Africa because Africa was actually one of the best packs in my opinion and frankly everyone's opinion. It sold incredibly well. I think the only pack it didn't outsell was Aquatic for obvious reasons. So I actually think that, you know, this could be really exciting because maybe we will still, still get four really cool animals and we'll also get some cool themes because like I said, I don't care what the theme is. More props just means more gameplay. More props means we get to build cooler things with cooler habitat designs and stuff. So for that reason, I'm very excited about the prospects of a theme pack. But you know what? If an animal pack comes out in the end and like the leaks are fake and all of my, my weird naming convention theory is wrong, uh, so be it. But I think for this reason, I just wanted to get this video out there to just kind of explain my thought process on why I feel very confident we are going to be getting a theme pack instead of a um, animal pack. So thank you all for watching. I know I've just been like kind of going around this otter habitat this whole video, but thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.